Hello to you all once again. I am Pylon Man. Superhero. Protector. Keeper of safety. Um. Uh, Matalan card holder. <laughs> Defender of children and friend to all. I was at Matalan the other day trying to find some combat trousers. Thought I would get myself some camouflage style ones. Couldn't find any. <laughs> Along with my friends at Western Power Distribution, or WPD, I am bringing you another video to highlight possible electrical dangers outside of the home. Today, I'm going to talk to you about substations. You may have spotted these buildings around your neighborhood and may even possibly wondered what they were or what they are for. It's always good to know what things are for. My friend bought me a universal remote control and I didn't know what it was for. He explained and then I thought, well, this changes everything. <laughs> Boom! Mm -hmm. <laughs> These substations can often look quite different, depending on where they are located. They can look like this, or this, or this. But this is not what we mean by a substation. Substations are a vital part of the electrical network. They receive electricity at extremely high voltages and transfer them down to usable voltages to be sent to the houses, using something called transformers. No. Not that one. You should never mess around or hang around about near a substation. The only safe area is outside a substation. The reason the substations are so dangerous is because electricity can jump through the air. Human bodies consist largely of water, which is of course an excellent conductor. <laughs> All this means, then, is that the electricity will jump towards you. The higher the voltage, the further the electricity will jump. Also, electricity can't be seen or heard. It is extremely fast and can travel around the world seven times in just one second. You can't outrun it. Essentially, you can't Usain Bolt a lightning bolt. Add to this the fact that electricity can jump, and it seems as if it really can come out of nowhere. So the sort of electricity we are talking about that is within a substation can be tens of thousands of volts, and this high voltage electricity can jump up to three meters. There is no social distancing for electricity. Substations are incredibly dangerous places, and although they are in public places, they are not public property. You are not allowed to enter them. It is a criminal offense to do so. Talking of an offense, I would now like to talk about offense. The fact that substations are so dangerous is why there is a fence to keep you out. Even these fences can be dangerous. They are made to keep people out, and trying to climb over them can lead to serious injury. As for going inside, this is extremely dangerous. Even trained engineers won't enter without protective gear, or PPE as it's known. Personal protective equipment which is equipment that workers must wear to protect them from potential hazards in places they work. The PPE that our engineers have to wear includes items like glasses, safety helmet, boots, high-vis jacket, gloves. Even with all this PPE, a substation is still an extremely dangerous place for an engineer to enter, and they have to be highly trained before they are allowed to do so. There are plenty of warning signs around outside of the substation warning you to stay away. They are very easy to spot. They are made to be easy to spot and are colored bright yellow. Not just because things look great in yellow, because they do. Anyway, the warning signs look like this. You will also notice that there is a phone number again on it. 105. If you need to let us know something about a substation, be it that you have accidentally lost something in one, or notice that it has been vandalized in some way, then phone this number. Do not enter yourself. Use the number 105 Stay Alive. If you spot somebody entering a substation, then this is an emergency. For an emergency, you must phone the police on 999. <laughs> Remember, high voltage electricity cannot be seen or heard, and it can jump. Do not ever go near or enter a substation. The message here is simple. Stay out. If you lose something, then phone the number. 105, stay alive. Talking of losing something, I sued an airline for lost luggage. Lost my case. Later, skaters!